fans really want Albert Pujols back. Oh, he could eat. In Dodger Blue in 2022. Where are you on the Albert Pujols train? Very big on not overstaying your welcome. You know, before... Year five, Blue Heaven. <laughs> Before, you know, Cinderella stays too long at the ball and her carriage turns into a pumpkin, whatever the hell the thing is, I don't know anymore. Glass houses, throwing rocks, I forget what it is. No, no, Cinderella turned into a Cinderella, glass house pumpkin. Cinderella, you know, glass yeah, house yeah, yeah. pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, for sure, sure. Um, I don't want this to turn into a Chase Utley situation. And the, it's unfortunate the way the Chase Utley situation played out because he played arguably a year and a half longer than he should have in his career. Oh, yeah. We wanted him back. Everybody wanted him back. He had the personality. He had the tenacity. He's the exact kind of guy that you wanted to be around the younger players and to teach them how to play and show them the right way. All those things. All the good things, right? How did that end? He just disappeared off the team. Absolutely just faded off into the sunset. Didn't get any sort of like grand send-off or anything like that. He was off the playoff roster and just gone. And that was it. And that was unfortunate for him because that dude had such a crazy storied career. Ended with the Dodgers. When he came over, it was good. He was super productive. He did exactly what he needed to do for the team. He filled a role that we needed. Um, yeah. Produced at a level that we needed him to produce during the playoffs. But I am very, very much convinced that we we got every last drop of juice that is out of Albert Pujols. And I don't want that Fair. dude to come back and and like have his feet fall off on second base or something like that. And you yeah. have to cart him out of there or anything like that. Yeah, he needs to go definitely, off. I, yeah. Thousand percent agree that it would be bad in terms of how the relationship's going to end because he wouldn't play, likely would not play, you know, April through October. No, he's not going to no. have that much of a benefit, even with the expanded. You know, you're going to have a 26 man roster still, <clears throat> not going to be that much at the time. Like with with Chase Utley having that sort of mentor player coach around, still made a little bit of sense because they had a stronger bench you know you had the kiki and the and the ct and the barnes and you had some guys who can get it done and other you know <clears throat> rookies who can kind of come up and and help fill the void when needed so you were able to get away with it at that time um definitely agree that you know if you want him around just hire his ass as a coach you know a uh, special Assistant, instructor whatever, whatever. i mean they do. do that with chase anyway chase is, right. was around the ballpark all the time but uh people like i said in the comments though like people go hard, they really love Theo. It they was, want him back. I get it. Um, it was fun to have him around. Yeah, it was exciting. It's a fling. It's to, a fling. It was exciting to see him thrive. It was all the things that you want. It, it was absolutely the best case scenario. Why spoil that memory of him? Why send him off into the sunset, remembering him as the guy that couldn't round first base and just fell over and like died at first or something like that? We don't need that. I mean, he he went out on a high note. He did a lot of really good things for us. It was a lot of fun to watch. So much social media stuff came out of it, and it was great. I loved every second of it. I'm very happy that he got Pujols to go. Pujols sells, a, too, though. He does. He think got about, to go from a very sad think about the clicks. ending. Very sad ending from Anaheim. You know, a bad place to be in the first place, but, you know, nonetheless. Very sad ending there to everything that we could have hoped for. He should retire, personally. He should retire. He should sign a one-day contract with the Cardinals or some crap like that. I don't know, but he, he shouldn't play. And if he does... If he wants to continue playing ball, someone's going to give him a contract of some sorts. Yeah, it's just going to well, happen because he he's on tools. To. He wants. To I'm sure he does playing. want to. Yeah. So somebody is going to give that to him. I don't know, man. Let it be the card. I don't know. It's I really just, want to see it's that. Just, it's just one of those things where I'm just like, ah, man, just go, just ride out peacefully. There's, you need to know when it's time to wrap it up, and I think it's time to wrap it up. It is 100 percent time for him to wrap it up. However, there's one massive benefit. Rebecca is bringing it up here off uh, on our on our YouTube channel. Rebecca says he's good for clubhouse culture, though, and this is going to Coaches be do that. yet another one of those massive, um, you know, transition years for the Dodgers. You had that that kind of big change from 2020 to 2021, and now you know, especially if Kershaw is not around to start spring training or something like that, um, it's it's. I wouldn't say it's amalgam. It's not an amalgamation of like just some dudes or whatever, but it's not right. that core that it was before. Um, and especially if, in a situation, you get somebody with the baggage of like a Bauer in there, Albert can do something to help. 
Maybe, probably not at the plate. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Definitely it, it not is, so much on the field. I think it, again, just comes back to what you're saying. The Dodgers in the past have had situations where they can't afford to carry guys like that on the mm-hmm. team because of the fact that they have such a deep bench and such versatility on the bench. They don't have that anymore. When you have Luke Rayleigh starting as many games as he did this year, you obviously have a problem with your bench depth. And it's a big it's a big thing this year and something that will need to be addressed and corrected and improved on because there aren't guys – at the minor league level that are just ready to rock in a bench type of role, in a Kike type of role, in a jock type of role. So you can't afford to have 95-year-old Albert Pools just sitting on his ass.